is uh, quite a bit of stuff. Um, and given that we probably want to go about an hour because it is Friday, we'll see how far how, how far things go along. But uh, basically, you know, again, the purpose of today's call is to continue to build out the Montreal DeFi Montreal DAO, and um, and it's, again, begin to really uh, get the ball rolling uh, and to begin to uh, get more and more folks involved to make this thing happen faster and faster. So, at the core of things, so let's just begin at the top, and we'll work our way down um the list of items here and by the way before i jump into each one of these uh topics uh you, you see all the topics we're going to talk about today they're on the right hand side is there anything you guys want to add to that topic list um before i launch into uh launch into them or do you think that's enough to chew on for this call sounds good good okay Feel free to, you know, to to, to uh, add one. We don't have to talk about today. I can always sideline it as well and just capture it. And we could always, you know, keep it for another meeting. But um, but yeah, I think we got plenty to chew on here. So yeah, keep thinking about things. If the things do come up, uh, feel free to jump in. So so you know, let's let's go through each one one at a time. We have uh, seven bullet points there. So let's see how far we get through things. So first off, you know, the community. This is a community meetup, and um, the whole point of the meetup, as you know, we'll talk about, I guess, in state in, in number four, we're, we're kind of talking, you know, this is a, a, a meetup that's based around, uh, well, actually, I don't like the word meetup. This is a community that's based around, um, you know, crypto investors or, or uh, DeFi enthusiasts, uh, builder, you know, crypto builders, Web 3.0 builders, artists, and so forth and so forth in the, in the, uh, in the crypto space. And um, it's all about creating this, you know, this, this like-minded community where we can, uh, uh, share and, and create ideas and uh, and learn from one another. So at the heart of it are these events, right? So these events are really what's driving the engagement with everyone. So that's, I think, is kind of the flywheel for everything that's going to take place with this community. So ultimately, the events are what create the community. And I think it's important that, you know, we, we kind of put uh, if, th if there's agreement around that, I think it's important that we, we kind of put the events uh, you know, high up in that hierarchy of things that need to that we need to focus on, or that need to be prioritized in terms of you know what we think are important um, um, areas of focus, or at least sort of like goals that we're working on to engage with the community. So yeah, Adam, you have a, you have a question, or you raised your hand? No, I think it was just left up from when you asked us about Notion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So uh, the first thing I want to do is, you know, we had an event yesterday, um, and I think a number of you were at that event. So we're always trying to get these things better. This is only our third event uh, under this meetup banner. So I definitely want to get some feedback um, from the folks who were there. How could we um, make the event better? You know, what did you? How how do you think it went? Um, just any general feedback that you'd like to give around yesterday's event. It was an interesting event. Uh, we went deep in, into a project. Instead of just like uh, going through a list, we, we saw a, a, a project and with a, the chief marketing. No, I, I liked it. OK. Anything we could have done better, in your opinion? No. It was perfect? <laughs> yeah, except maybe for, for the issue with the presentation, but uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, at the end there where I was having a hard time sharing? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's on me. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that one. So it was like 99% perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Anyone else? No other, no other feedback. Because I didn't think I didn't think it was that great. Personally, I'm the harsh one on myself, so I know, like you know, like I know what I'm looking for for a great event, and I thought, you know, I give it a, a B. I would definitely wouldn't give it an A. Um, I give it a solid B. That's just me because I'm critical of uh, you know of things that I'm looking for for great events. Like so, for for a first event of this kind, honestly, it's, it was good. Okay. Don't forget that it's the first one. True. Yeah, it's first time we've actually had a guest present yeah. versus uh, someone, yeah, yeah, one of us talk. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Houston, just out of curiosity, what would you have uh, preferred to see or what was missing? Why only B? Yeah. Well, what do you think, Marius, since you were there? What do, how, would you, how would you grade it? Well, it was, uh, for me, it was, it was super interesting. Uh, the thing is that uh, uh, I'll just realized how little I know, you know, <laughs> about the whole crypto space. It's like, uh, I feel kind of humbled, you know, so um, most of it I didn't really understand. So I really have to dig deeper. Um, sorry, I'm actually having a bit of audio issues right now. Oh, sorry. Can I mean, you hear me? To talk about feedback. Can you hear me or not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I found it interesting. Uh, I, I was struggling with some of the information because I just uh, uh, I haven't done uh, enough work. I haven't Sorry, done I'm some, some AV issues. Okay. Uh, not sure, Houston. Can you hear me or not? Yeah. Uh, but Faud, you, you can, can hear, hear you fine. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah. You're okay. Perfect. You can hear me. So just to, to wrap this up here, I'll, I'll, I was struggling with the, all the in, input. So I do uh, think uh, I have to go further down the rabbit hole. Um, other than that, I, I'll you know I enjoyed it. It was uh, it was good. So I I agree with uh, Oud that uh, it was a good first meeting. And yeah, just 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 curious, Houston, why would you give it a B? All right, can you hear me? Okay. So unfortunately, I missed like all of that <laughs> because my uh, my my um, audio cut out because uh, the Bluetooth died. But I'm back now. So unfortunately, I missed your feedback there, Mario. So I'm not gonna. Maybe you can just give me the the, the, the personal version of, of of your of your feedback there. Yeah. So I was just saying that uh, there's a lot of things I still have to you know to to learn, and uh, was uh, tons of information that I wasn't aware of. Uh, so I, I found it interesting. Uh, you, you know, um, be the dumbest in the room. You know. <laughs> so uh, that was for me. How about you? Why would you only give it a B? Uh, for me, I, I thought overall, I thought the content was decent. Um, so, you know, I think I split up the uh, the event into several pieces, right? The actual event itself, I think, is okay in terms of the speakers and the content that's delivered. But I think it's that, you know, there's the, the actual event and there's everything that goes on around around the event, which I think can be a lot smoother. Um, like, for instance, like the promotion of the event, things of, you know, of the nature of people getting into the room, engaging the audience, you know, making it more uh, community-driven, kind of more engaged audience. Um, and then, you know, things that we can do afterwards. Um, to me, you know, these events, uh, I think the content's okay, but I find that there's, there, what is lacking is, is um, if the content doesn't really hit, people don't have it. There's, there's no immediate next action, and people don't do anything with that stuff, right? And then it just becomes, it just dies on the vine. So it's, it's kind of like, the content's not even evergreen because it just kind of dies right away. So ideally, you know, we, we, we find something where, the community is engaged, right? They want to hear this thing. Like they want to know, they want to learn about something. They learn about it and then you can use it for something, right? Otherwise, like, um, it seems like it's, just, you know, you just bring a guest speaker. Sorry, you, your, your voice is, uh, is not is clear. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the audience. Ah, okay. Am I coming in better now? All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, maybe I'll repeat some of those points again is, you know, ideally, like for me, like the, a really kind of A plus type of event is where the community is engaged all the way through from, you know, from the beginning of, you know, of the event from, you know, what we're going to talk about. They want to know like, okay, like how to use this protocol or, you know, why it's interesting, what's relevant. And then they, you know, the next day we have some sort of more discussion um, or that, yeah, people are like, okay, yes, I learned something there and I can actually use it now. Um, versus this is kind of like more of a, uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of a, I don't know if it's uh, the words tire kicking or kind of kind of theoretical where it's like, yeah, it's kind of nice to know, but probably never going to use it kind of stuff, right? Then for me, it's like the content's great, but it's not really like if it's not relevant, then it's 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 really you know it it doesn't uh, doesn't hit home as well, right? So ideally, like because because it's community driven, I think what we can be doing better is like what does the community actually want, right? So versus one person just saying. You know, I want to draw something out of my my special hat that's going to be relevant to everyone. Um, I think the best of presentations are when you know when it really really hits home for the people in attendance, right? And so yesterday's event, I think we learned stuff, but uh, I you know for me, I don't, I'm not sure if it's like really really relevant. And so the relevance part to me uh, felt to me like it was a bit um, wasn't wasn't there because maybe you know based upon where we at where we're at right now, the community 
maybe it was maybe one step too high. Like maybe people need to learn how to, to use MetaMask still, or I don't, I don't know what the uh, you know the the right depth is there. But to me, it's like that. That's what's that's what I'm trying to understand, right? So, so that that's kind of what I I, I would how how I would grade the uh, the event. Yeah, uh, well, just maybe two two cents from my side. No, you go for first for Yeah, I I no I, I have a question actually, but it's not uh, following what Houston was saying. So if you want Marius to ask her, uh, I I was wondering. So if, I, I, yeah, no, go ahead. Sorry. No, I just wanted to uh, throw my, my 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 two cents in uh, here. And um, so I do agree, um, especially when I compare it with the anchor protocol that you presented, Houston. That of course, you know, the anchor protocol, one can, you know, after the event uh, two months ago, you know, everybody was could just, you know, kind of put this in motion and do it him or herself. Whereas with Metis, it's a bit different, you know, it is, uh, it's a different level. I, I agree on that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because what are you going to do with that information, right? Like, are you not compelled to use Metis or Metis? Or is it just kind of like something you file away in your back pocket and say, maybe one day I'll use that information, right? So, so. Um, yes, the content was decent, but at the same time, like, you know, is that something that's useful, right? And that's what I call relevance. Like, is that really pertinent to you? I don't know, right? It's like, do we want to just fill people up with stuff that's just pure information based, or do we want to make it more applicable? And then if it's more applicable, I hope it's more engaging, right? That means like, I think engagement is very important, right? That, so people keep coming back. Otherwise, what's the difference between us doing events that's just information based? That anyone can find on Twitter Spaces on on YouTube, you know what I mean. So this is this is uh, um, this is what I, what I'm trying to uh, trying to kind of you know pull apart there. So I think you know a really great A kind of event would be like, man, I can totally see how I'm going to use this now in my in my DeFi journey, you know, versus just kind of like, yeah, it's more information. And I know there's already like you know thousands of hours of information on YouTube, but you know this is uh, somehow different, right? So this is what I'm trying to differentiate, like. Why do we need to do events? Um, I think they have to be different than something you can just find on YouTube or by Googling stuff. But it depends on our objectives and uh, yeah. on our knowledge also. Like if we're developers or if we're business oriented, not everyone is on the same level to use exactly. the knowledge. So maybe if we set like, what are our objectives in like the events we would like to have yeah. Maybe we align it more in how we could get more like uh, use of what we are presented. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. That's I think that's why Adam, you know, has been kind of pushing on the notion side, like, hey, we need to start thinking about our objectives, and you know, like, what's our vision for this thing? And I think at the end of the day, like, the more voices we can, like, like that's why I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to be the only person that's picking topics every single month, because you, I might pick something that's you know relevant for me, but that may not be at the general, you know, may not be general use of the group. Or maybe I'm talking from different, you know, like maybe I have more expertise or less expertise than certain people in the room, and that may not be, you know, again pertinent. So I'd rather us, you know, come to together as a group uh, to say, hey, here are all potential topics. Why don't we prioritize some of these things, right? Based upon what we know about the group. Now, you know, I do have results from polls. Like everyone knows that when you first join the group, I send out a poll or you get a poll. Uh, most people fill them out, and we can kind of kind of know the general level of our participants or our members. So that's kind of a you know a good thing to kind of know, um, and I think most people to, you know to be very honest are still very early in their DeFi journey, and that's totally cool. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, so this is why you know I want to make sure we're catering the content um, to the right audience. At the same time, the folks who are showing showing up to the meetups may not be be that green, right? Like for instance, like there's a difference between people who fill up fill up surveys. And folks who actually show up to events, <laughs> you know, so that's a different thing too, right? So, because uh, a lot of people just like kicking tires, they just like you know applying to groups, and then they get in and they never they never do anything. So that's also you know a, a very tr a true thing, because it's, the reality is that I see a lot of the same faces every single month, and those are the folks who are committed to to showing up and learning things, and those are always the same folks who are you know filling out forms and surveys. So, anyways, that's it's more 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 clear there. Um just as somebody that didn't attend the event um it's also i think okay as a community that there could be different streams of content that not everybody needs to be interested in every uh you know topic or every call 
ideally that we do have an engaged community, but it's okay that there's sometimes that certain things that are just not applicable to you, but there's still so much value for somebody being involved in the community. So absolutely. You know, I might attend the call yesterday, even if I was mildly interested, but just knowing that other people were there, it's an off, like an opportunity. So yeah. um, I guess like what I were a bit, from what I can tell, it's a bit small right now. So it's hard to sort of have those streams of different consciousness yeah. of things happening. But as it grows, I think that'll just happen naturally. Exactly. I think you're exactly, exactly right, Adam, because ultimately I think, you know, in a, in a say a few months time when we start to have more a bigger and bigger group i think naturally what we're going to see is that some folks are going to come in at different levels and we're going to have to have different uh work streams or different you know uh groups maybe subgroups who are creating meetups for these, these different audiences right so some folks kind of like when we had it and you know when i had that trading group you know some folks are always new there's always new traders coming in or always new folks coming in and they need the one-on-one and then there's other folks who are you know very engaged and they're gonna need to know like, okay, what's the latest and greatest thing right now? And what are the hot DeFi, you know, projects? And what's the, you know, where's the hot money going now? And people are chasing that stuff or, you know, like people wanna get engaged in the newest topics that, you know, newest technologies, that kind of stuff. That's another channel. Or maybe some folks just like to, like to build a lot, right? And they wanna know, okay, well, what are the, you know, like what's, you know, what's the uh, the technology now? And what's the stack that people are working on? And and I could even imagine like we get to the, uh, we engage more people who actually want to, to do more like hands-on events. You know, I've been talking with this other group, the DeFi crypto group, and you know, like Will over there, he does a lot of hands-on stuff, right? So his events are all about doing hands-on stuff. He's a developer, so you know, he's always like, okay, how do we spin up a, a node? Or how do we, you know, start up a DAO using Aragon? You know, like, and he will go through those steps, right? So I think, you know, that kind of tutorial-based type of stuff is also, also, I think, relevant to some people and they want to see that stuff as well. So yeah, I agree. I think we have a lot of potential different uh, areas of focus we can work on. Um, and I think you know. I think we just capture all that, right? And we can begin to prioritize that as a group around where we want to focus. Focus first. Okay. So that's. Uh, I think uh, unless anyone has any other, any other comments they want to add to that, why don't we sideline that table that for now? You know. I'll, thanks everyone for their feedback. Um, and I want to take that back and see how we can improve on that. I think you know one of the takeaways I have right away is, you know, one of my goals is always that, let's try to. Um, try to be as open and transparent as possible around you know future topics right so why don't we find a way to begin to compile a list of topics that people like and then you know we can see if those are you know presentations that we can deliver internally with you know through our community through our you know our, our own network of people that we have locally here in montreal or in our group or is it something where we have to go off and find you know someone who is on you know who's a uh, um, you know, a uh, someone outside of our community to deliver that to deliver that uh, that presentation, right? Um, oops. So I think the takeaway for me again is just that's that's become um, let's just be uh, let's just begin to create a like a topic list that you know the group can contribute to publicly, and then we can come to an agreement either through voting or you know just a, a conversation around what topics we want to cover next. Is that fair? Yep. Cool. All right. So um, let's move on to the next topic, if there aren't any questions around that. So I want to check that on. I'll check this one. So uh, GMXYZ. So who here has used the GMXYZ? Has anyone ch had a chance to check it out yet? Yeah, I opened, uh, I enrolled, or how do you say? I. Yeah. I, I Anyone else? I know. I think Adam has. I know. Uh, okay. Thank you, Marius. Anyone else yeah, use I GM XYZ? In. Yeah. Awesome. Anyone else? No, I, I wasn't aware what that was, so I'm going to look into it this weekend. Okay. Who here has a MetaMask wallet that's funded? I have one. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. I do. Okay. Marius does as well. All right. So, um, Let me share my screen here. So let me share up my uh, my browser. So GM.xyz is basically a, I would say it's it's a Web3, how would you describe it? It's, it's a Web3 platform that's kind of a combination of Reddit and kind of like Discord. 
that allows you to do threaded discussions. So right now, like I'm going to give you an example. So right now, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> yeah, show that one, Adam. <laughs> uh, so can anyone see my uh, my my screen right now? It says uh, you should see the Notion site. So right now, if we haven't used Notion, um, you know, this is where all the ideas are currently being uh, being stored, right? So we have a a brainstorm ideas board, right? Where we're kind of tracking all the ideas that are coming up. We can have threaded discussions in this Notion site. It's a bit clunky, right? Because Notion's obviously, you know, they're doing their best to, to support these kinds of uh, interactions, but certainly, you know, it's, it's not that easy to use. So it's a bit clunky, although convenient. So as I mentioned already, you know, what, what's, what's kind of nice about the Notion thing is here is that, you know, we, we can easily, you know, create these ideas Right, and then we can, and someone can quickly jump in there and begin to add comments. The difficulty is that when it comes to threaded comments, it's not super easy to track and get notified. Well, you get the notifications, but it's not really easy to understand like where they're coming from, and you know, uh, and to, to follow them over time, especially when they get deeper and deeper in terms in ter into the conversation. So what GMXYZ does, as I said already, is basically it's a combination of Reddit. Whoever you know, I think everyone's used Reddit. You know that Reddit's basically a you know a threaded discussion board. Um, so let me open up Reddit here. Not Reddit, sorry. Um, GMXYZ. Houston, just out of curiosity, where do I find this Notion side? I believe I invited you. So. Oh really? Okay. Let's yeah. see. Did I add you there, Marius? Notion. Because I think I uh, let's see here. Are you in there? Maybe not. Okay, so I didn't get your email address. Well, so, um, so yeah, we can do that. I need your email address. Yeah, exactly. I'll need your email address afterwards too to add you. But here's the uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, GM XYZ actually allows kind of like Web three native communities to spring up, and so now what you can actually do is you can actually have a community. Let's see. Let's enter like the uh, the main one here, uh, the the GM community. So here we can basically have you can see all these different kind of um, uh, sort of uh, I guess you can call them different rooms or or, or or channels. And then it's inside of each channel you could have posts, and each post can have a, a threaded discussion, right? So if I click so, on this one here, I can see a discussion. All, all within that. That one community, like all those like main sections you saw, is within the GM community. That was, that that's was right. There. So GM is the community, exactly. That's right. And then you can actually you know begin to build out. So this ultimately could be like a community website. So this, uh, you know, this this could be our community website where you can begin to you know post all of your resources and all your intro stuff and you know all uh, all your links can all go here. You know, and you know, as example, the the DAO group, the DAO chat group that we have now. This threaded discussion that's currently happening in, in Notion could ultimately go into a private DAO chat uh, room here or channel under our, you know our community website, and this would allow us to 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 um, uh, to collect our all of our ideas, have these discussions, create polls, and all these kinds of things that we can do, you know that we're that we're kind of doing trying to do now trying to do now in Notion, but do it better in GM. So what's the difference in GM and Reddit? Well, the difference the GM is actually Web3 native, right? So as you can see here, you can sign in with Ethereum. Um, you can begin to do things like limit certain sections of the uh, community based upon what tokens or NFTs you own, right? So this gets interesting where you can say, okay, well, if this person only doesn't own this token, he cannot gain access to certain channels, right? Mm -hmm. And so this gives a way for us to, to you begin to use the promise of Web three, right? That is the tokenization, you know, the tokenization of, of things, uh, to be able to to grant or limit or you know, uh, to be able to sh to people to show off things like their NFTs, right? So people can easily like so. Right now, for instance, I want to sign in. I'll log in with the MetaMask. So you do need to have, you know, a uh, an ETH wallet, right? So you need to have uh, an Ethereum MetaMask wallet set up. So I'll log in here. I have one already. All right, so I'm just going to sign in. The first time you do this, but you have to you have you have to own coins within your wallet in order to access, right? Um, 
I'm not sure you need coins to access. I think you needed yeah. coins to try to vote, but I don't right. think you need coins yeah. to actually access. So the other day I was asking folks to upvote us because I was trying to get our community set up on this as a test because uh, because um, you know Adam and I, Adam and I had, had seen the, the promise of it. So I'm like, let me just try, try to set one up here and see if it works or not for us. Uh, but the nice thing, and this is the news I want to deliver to the group now, is that I I applied, um, took a few, you know, had to follow up through Discord and that kind of stuff. But I was actually just today, this afternoon, I was actually granted a community site for us. So the nice thing here now is that once I log in here, I click connect. I have an ETH wallet, MetaMask. There you go. At the sign, when you sign, don't worry, you're not. It's not spending any money here, right? So it's just you're just signing your your. Uh, you're signing your the the uh, trans the transaction there, and there you go. Could you, could you could you as a community? Could you require participants in certain activities, certain events within that community? Uh, uh, require participant uh, pay an X amount of ether or whatnot to join an event. To join an event that you're holding on this GM community um gm doesn't do, do events but i do know a website that does so i know one called beam that xyz also based in montreal i've been uh, i've been chatting to this one guy uh syrian that's his uh pseudo name beam xyz um it's not based out of montreal but they do have a t a small team here i think that's uh working on it it's a web3 video streaming platform and so this one here it's kind of like zoom right or like google meet and for people to get into the room they need to have the appropriate token so you can either sell them that you know then they have to actually buy that token before they can get into that room or, or hold a certain nft or they need to have that certain certain you know erc whatever token in their wallet before they can get in or you can sell them you know tokens to get into the event so there are yeah, yeah. this could be great for like uh selling a webinar or for or a That's right. performance or, or what but not right that's right you know, I could definitely see, like, you know, let's say you, you want to run, let's say the group wants to run a workshop. Yes. Like, you know, we start to, you know, like say, okay, let's, how can the DAO begin to raise money? Why don't we get some experts in the, you know, in this, in this area um, to begin to, you know, to, to create workshops and then, um, you know, charge people to come in and, you know, they would have to obviously, you know, you, you know, you use an app like this to, uh, you know, to, to pay for the tokens to get to the event. It's interesting. Yeah. Which is, again, a more native way. Versus the traditional way of doing it was would be you know selling an event on meetup.com or you know what are the, all the popular ones meetup.com there's um, uh, 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 eventbrite event yeah eventbrite you know people have to pay through PayPal and PayPal gets their you know their five percent cut or whatever whatever it is right and each each little person gets gets their cut. So I, this so. is interesting because I mean, you also got Patreon type where it's a recurring monthly yeah. You know, Exactly. Yeah. All right. So uh, going back to the point here. So yeah, so Montreal DAO is now set up and uh, we can always change the name of it. I just, you know, I put in a generic name in there for us just to, you know, to, to get it uh, approved. But now that I'm in there, we can begin to, to use this website. All right. So folks, now you can begin to, to, to jump in. We'll have to uh, to set the rules and there can you know, be certain rooms that can be uh, um, um, uh, sort of gate uh, gated. So what I can do now is whoever's interested in joining, let me know. And then, you know, happy to, to give admin rights to folks who, who want to become moderators, who want to take a little bit more charge or take some more control or, uh, or, or, you know, um, moder uh, moderation rights around, around the, uh, the group. But ultimately I think we will have to try it out. My, my hope is that this can replace what we're doing in notion in around the threaded discussions. Clearly, maybe some of our like you know our working like mission statement stuff maybe doesn't belong. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see, right? Like I'm that's my first time using GM for this kind of stuff, so we'll, I think we'll we'll kind of have to figure it out as a group. But I think certainly our discussions can go here and be you know recorded and, and you know and and uh, or, or, I mean uh, hosted on uh, on GM that XYZ. So yeah, I, yeah. Uh, just Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I, I was wondering, like, we have uh, the meetup, we have Luma, we have Notion, we have GM. So maybe we have to decide at the end on which one to, to focus or which two to focus, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, my, my, my so here's my high-level opinion about this, right? So 
the community needs to exist outside of any platform, right? So like, I don't want, I don't think this, this community is a meetup community. Okay, fair enough. Right? So um, I don't think this group is a Facebook community. I don't think this group is a Twitter community. Um, so I think we have to exist outside of all those communities, but we'll use all those platforms um, to engage an audience that then comes back to this community. So, you know, I think that's that funnel approach, right? So these are all platforms that we can use as a funnel to go back to the community. Now, Jim XYZ, you know, I think it's it's kind of like a Reddit forum for now. Maybe it's ultimately, I think they're trying to become a Discord replacement. Maybe it becomes, a, a, a you know, a Reddit slash Discord for this, for this group. But I, I know what you're getting at. We need to, you know, like cut back on the amount of like touch points because it gets confusing, right? Like, yeah. Like, like what's your main site? Give me your main yeah. site. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to. And it could become it does more work too, right? Like, who wants to reproduce content across five different sites, right? True. True. So I, just I think to, also, I, yeah. Just go ahead, Ann. Yeah, I think that like as a DAO community, we will have a lot of tools. Like, we have to yeah. accept that the DAO tooling system is very fragmented at this point. Um, so we're gonna have things like potentially GM to have better discussions. We'll probably use something like Snapshot to you know, vote on governance decisions. But essentially we do need to have a home, which could be something like Notion that then links to those different things. So as we start to think about like governance and our procedures for making decisions as a community, we have to have some sort of a hub that says, okay, this is how we work and this is how we collaborate and which tools that we use. And right now, I think we're still figuring out what those tools are and how we are using them. So it can be a bit disorienting, but as we you know, grow and we sort of have a community manager or somebody that owns that component of it, we can start to, uh, not the greatest term, for example, but start to centralize how we organize those different types of tooling and how and when we use them. Yeah. I agree with that. Though. Yeah, agree too. Same for me. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of tools because you know Adam mentioned you know <laughs> a, you know a snapshot already, but not to mention this you know we'll obviously need to actually have the platform that actually mints the uh, you know that actually mints the DAO itself, and you know so there's going to be you know that that platform as well. So there's going to be a lot of tools involved here, uh, yeah. but ultimately I think we got, we got to try to find a way for you know there's obviously the folks who are involved in the DAO will be using a lot of tools. But I hope that we can simplify the community, like communities, you know, like, uh, um, uh, you know, kind of in, uh, what their main what their main website is going to be. We have to be very consistent with that, right? Like, how do we typically want to engage, right? Is it going to be, is it going to be GM X Y Z? That that remains to be seen. Like, I don't know. Like, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see, right? Like, I don't think you need to sign up to just look at the community. Now, if you need to, if you want to post, then yes, you need to sign up with a MetaMask wallet. Create an account, and then you can, you know, then you can, then you can, then then you can post. But if you so just want to see what's the next community's events, you can quickly go in there and see it, right? You don't need to have a MetaMask wallet and sign in for that. So I don't think it's a barrier to entry there, just because you don't have MetaMask, right? I just tried. So so I just tried. Yeah, I have a MetaMask. I can see, but I just noticed my MetaMask is not funded. I, I actually transferred out there last week or so. So I tried to log in to to access yeah. it. And could not, so it has to be funded to participate. Okay, so you can view things, but you probably can't actually participate. Can you can you join the group? We can't even you can't even join. I just well, I I, tr I tried to join with my yeah. through my MetaMask connecting MetaMask, and it says uh, uh need to have funded uh, MetaMask. Okay, so you cannot create an account unless you have a funded MetaMask. That's kind of I guess that kind of makes sense. So they can't, so you don't yeah. just create these uh you know these fake accounts. Um, so. You can see everything, I'm sure. You can see everything's visible, yes. obviously, if you have permissions, but you won't be able to actually create an account or, or contribute unless you actually have some, some funds, which is kind of yeah. smart because that kind of gets, that kind of defeats the whole the spammy nature of, of social media, right? We have no skin in the game. Here, a person actually has to have a funded account. You can't just spin up a million MetaMask wallets that are empty and then you know have all these bots go crazy, right? So this is actually, actually no, that's a pretty smart, uh, pretty smart way of doing things. Yeah, we, we can log in with Coinbase also. It's not just uh, MetaMask. Yes, exactly. Yeah, anything sure. that, that has a Coinbase or Wallet Trust or or Wallet mm -hmm. Connect or um or uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's those three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah just those three. three. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So um, I will. So here's the link right now. So I'll go back to um, 
So you know what? So right now it's empty, right? So you can see there's nothing there right now. But ultimately, uh, again, whoever wants to uh, to be an admin, let me know if you want to contribute there and be a manager of this help manage this community. We you know we'll have to spend a bit of time just creating the rules. Every single community has you know kind of these onboarding rules. I've, you know, I've, I've I've been surfing through some of them. You know, it's the regular rules, right? And say, hey, don't uh, don't spam. Be be nice. Don't uh, put stuff that's you know that is. Uh, <laughs> inappropriate, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, you can put all your FAQs. So maybe where you can find all the links, uh, you know, how do you join it, blah, blah, blah. And then ultimately you can begin to, uh, um, to gatekeep how you can get into some of these, some of these rooms. All right. So let's try to move the, the thread of discussions over to this forum. If that's okay with you guys. Is that okay with you guys? I, I don't know. Like, how many folks here do you think is, is that a barrier to to you to, to contribute? Because I don't know if everyone has a funded MetaMask account. Obviously, Notion doesn't require any kind of uh, you know um, uh, uh, tokens uh, or a, a funded account. Um, well, if, we, if, if, think, if we're all uh, if we're all in this here, I mean, MetaMask yeah. is the is the go to, right? We should all at least have. Yeah, if we're if we're exactly if we're in the Web three and we're talking crypto DeFi, then Hopefully you do have a MetaMask, or you know you have some crypto, uh, crypto wallet that you could uh, use to authenticate. I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a bit of skin in the game. So if you don't have one, maybe it's time to set one up. <laughs> and, and you know, this is also for newbies. You know, this is also maybe their first step. Then you know, to uh, open up yeah. MetaMask. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, if you have a struggle with that, ask the community for help. Right, so if you have done it before and you get stuck, then yeah, this is you know this this is a good a community, you know, uh, is, you know, rely or lean on the community to to give you a hand. All right, so any questions about GM and XYZ? Otherwise, you know, I'm, we're we're uh, and then move on here. I just think an action item that sort of comes from this, there's like a couple. One is like we need to yeah. have a central place of which tools we're using and why. I don't know mm -hmm. if that's a notion or somewhere, but having people an easy way to navigate that. And then I guess we also have to do some work here around, you know, building up this content so that it actually has like FAQs or rules and the yes. correct or some starting points for the topic so that people have an example when they get in. Yep. So let's 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 capture that because that's very important. Um, because um, I'm gonna share my screen here. So let's go back to the, the mind map and let's let's begin to put some names to some some things here. So I think we're like having some... even just a simple guide to like starting with MetaMask would be super helpful from the beginner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a really good yeah. point. So I just I just finished a uh, a prop project uh, and, and each time we onboard a new consultants or employees or whatnot it's so it was so hard right so we just built this onboarding platform for anybody new coming in this could be something similar like an onboarding uh, uh yeah. guy platform whatnot right brings you through all like the best practices or what should be and where where do you find x y and z yeah. right and what do we what do we want to host this thing because my, my preference is actually to do it on GM the XYZ because with Notion right now, it's kind of like people, you know, like they don't even know to reach out to me to get set up on it, right? And where do they find the link and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So why don't we just direct everyone to GM the XYZ, have a, that FAQ there, right? And then yes. people can just follow along with that versus having to, you know, to come to me and say, hey, how do we get this Notion thing? Or I didn't even know it existed, that, that kind of stuff, right? So why don't we just put it all there on, on, uh, on um, GM the XYZ? I agree. That makes sense. Okay, who wants to? Well, the minimum out. You know, there's but there's already like tons of good resources out there. Resources out there, but who wants to actually uh, take the charge and begin to organize this stuff into an FAQ? Any hands I want to raise? Someone who's you know, yeah, so feel free. If, if this is your first time doing this stuff, maybe you're a good volunteer, right? Like if you're figuring it out yourself, then you want you know this would be a perfect. You'd be a perfect candidate to to, to actually document these steps. It might be a maybe. really stupid question, but. Uh... What exactly is MetaMask? <laughs> That's your question. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. This is the right place to learn about it. 
<laughs> this is not, that's not a stupid question because you're asking that. I'm sure there's tons of people who have no idea what my mask is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crypto wallet and gateway block to blockchain apps. That's what's written on the website anyway. <laughs> 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 it's it's actually right. what's, what's really good with, with MetaMask, it, it's a wallet, as uh, Floyd was saying, which is uh, as an extension to your browser, so it becomes a gateway to the blockchains. Yeah. Mm. But okay. I, I, as I said, you, if it's too complicated for you, you don't need to use MetaMask, you can use Coinbase. Coinbase is really okay. easy to have it on your, on your phone, on anywhere. Exactly. So who wants to, I think it would make sense for a person who is uh, new, to uh, or, or somewhat new but comfortable to take on this task um, so that they could document it from a, a new person's perspective, right? If you can walk through it yourself, um, then you know you understand the the the, the, the challenges that of, of a new person in that perspective, right? So who wants to, I'm not saying you have to be a brand new, but who wants to take a step here and, and, and um, volunteer for that role? Could also be a mix of different people because then, then we can, you know, everybody's going to have a different experience or a different point of view, even though you're going sure. through the same process. Yeah. Well, what we're talking about right here now is, is beginning to flesh out that FAQ, right? So that FAQ is obviously the first step is create a MetaMask wallet. Second step is to begin to, you know, is how to engage with GM XYZ and, and the rest of the links around our community. Okay, Adina, I think I saw your, your hand raised there. Do you want to, uh, to create the... So what we're talking about here is creating an FAQ, right? So we're creating an FAQ, and then in that FAQ, we're going to have things like such as how do you set up MetaMask, right? How to set up MetaMask. Okay. I mean, do we really need to reinvent the wheel here? Like, yeah, I'm not saying we have to reinvent like, that. I'm saying like, there just has to be some some like curated content that shows like yeah. here's how do you do it. Right, and then like, and then leads to the next step. So it goes from MetaMask then to like, then how do you sign into GM? Well, you know, just just take the link. So I'll, I don't know how much. So whatever, like, if, if you're a brand new person, whatever you need to do to sign in to GM XYZ, these are steps that you want to document and then share with with the group. But right, I, so I, was wondering, this, I was wondering, I was wondering, Houston, where do you want to put the FAQ? Yeah, well, we can put it on on our on our. Um, well, certainly at the website, but uh, I'm trying to figure out like what is our main point of entry for our for for our community? Is it so GM it, XYZ or is it still Meetup or is some? Was, if it's GM XYZ, we, we can't access the FAQ, right? So you can, uh, yes, you, can, you, access, can. you can access it. You just cannot contribute. You can't add but to things. I, I tried to access it. It's saying log in. We're using crypto wallet. I just tried right now. I, I can't but, see anything. Like, like, like I'm there now. I'm there now on the Montreal DAO uh, yeah. platform. And I'm seeing everything. I can click. So there's no content. So I'm not seeing anything. But, you know, I'm seeing all the, the links, like the default general and all topics and, and, and uh, tags. And I have the sign in button. So I can see content. I okay. went to others. I can see content. But I can't join in. I can't access content that is for members only, for example. So okay. it could be the FAQ or the, the, the general information could be the landing page when you get there. Okay, you, you think we could have it, right? Even without joining, without having a MetaMask, we could see the FAQ. But that's because I tried to join. I tried to join because yeah. I just realized my MetaMask is not funded, so I could not join, right? Yeah. But I can still see the landing page and I still, uh, okay. still see like Montreal DAO, uh, we are a community of crypto DeFi Web3 investors, builders and enthusiasts, so I see all that. So I presume that on that page, which is your general default page, that thread could be all those FAQs or the basic how to join this community. Maybe, maybe Houston, as, as, you, as you have access, maybe Houston, you could add like a simple thread and then see if we can actually see it. That all right. It. So let me go in here. Okay, so so let me go in here now. And I'll add. A, I'll put a quick a post. Uh, just a test to see if we could really see. Exactly. Something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
I have the MetaMask, but I'm not signed in because I don't have uh, uh, coins or tokens in the MetaMask. Yeah. So it didn't, it didn't allow me to. to so, so just maybe if you could create a post or add something on the general. Yeah, All right. just posted it. All right. Let's so see. refresh that refresh that page. Okay. And tell I'm me if you, if you see it. Yeah, I see yeah, it. Yeah. Yes, I yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah. So we could All have right. we, could, we could have people who land on this page. We could have then the FAQs or the general information how to to join the community right there. Yeah. Because I can pin it. I just pinned it to the top. So maybe that pin that you know that first you know that first uh, post you know has all the has the links right and and you know um, maybe you know the folks who are on the call if you're new you mm -hmm. can begin to come up with questions that you have because these are all I think common questions so for now until we can figure this out like why don't we collect the questions so like like you know collect common questions collect common questions for FAQ. Like, questions. You know, Antoine, Antoine just asked, "What was MetaMask?" Right? Great exactly. question. Great question. Well, just like right? the common questions for the FAQ, right? So, how to set up MetaMask? What is MetaMask? Let's just drop that into, like, I guess for now, like, what's the best into Discord? Right? Everyone's on the Discord. Um, what's the best place to drop this? Tell me, tell me, guys, what's the best? What's the most comfortable place for you to drop this in Notion or or where you want to put this? I think in Discord it would be great. Like, uh, we can set up a channel with a. Uh, uh, educational purposes and uh, drop videos in it and stuff like that. True, it's a good point. You guys like that, or do you want to create a, a notion? This goes too dark. <laughs> this goes too dark. <laughs> I think you can change the. I think you can change the color. Is that was that you mean by too dark, or are you talking about <laughs> uh, a different vibe? <laughs> Houston. Also, as we explore GM, maybe there's more permission based items that, like you know, yeah. maybe certain sections or pages can be public regardless if you have an Ethereum wallet or not. So that's something Absolutely. that we can look into as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I definitely think that is true. I think based upon you know what uh, permissions, you can definitely gatekeep certain things. Um, so that's definitely something we need to play with. Uh, but for now, before we start posting a bunch of stuff on GM, why don't we um, just organize yourself off of GM and then yep. okay, let people like yes. folks like go back to this like who wants give me a name who wants to to uh, to become a moderator in GM who wants to start kicking the tires in GM. I will say I, I'm interested. Depending, on, I mean, I don't know what's my time, my my time capacity right now, but I'd be interested. Yeah, okay. that's one name. Anyone else? Um, you can make me an admin or a moderator, or whichever. Like, I'd love to start Sounds good. creating some of the structure around it. Yeah, awesome. Exactly. Okay, Adam and Jocelyn. I can buy the stuff from Notion. Also, that's there. That's easy. Yeah, try to pull it over and see if we can if it migrates over properly and we can gatekeep it or not. So okay, Adam and Jocelyn, I think that's a good start. Okay, I'll say I'll post in whatever. Okay, so yeah, Antoine can do a FAQ on Coinbase. Yeah, so we can definitely do like a few, right? So there's obviously the Coinbase Coinbase option. There's the uh, the Wallet Trust option. There's the MetaMask option. So common questions: What is MetaMask, right? So you know, we'll, we'll the folks, you know. So what do you want to collect these questions? It's, it's just be clear. What do you want to collect the FAQ, the questions for FAQs? So everyone knows where to go. Discourse, a uh, Discord or uh, Notion. What's easier in order to collect? I haven't really participated in, in uh, I, I understand both, but in order to collect items, Discord is a bit more of like a chat scenario. Yeah. So will it go too low and then we kind of lose track of what was way down below? It's more of a question. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not. I think I'm over it. I think it's notion probably easier to collect because if you just People just start typing a bunch of stuff in Discord. It's going to get lost pretty easily, right? Yeah, because then we could start chatting, and then that that, that, that yeah, it'll disappear. So, so let's. I'll create a new page in Notion, okay? Around around the common questions, questions for FAQ. So I will I will you know put my name beside that, and then um and then people folks like if you please like you don't have access to Notion, let me know, and then start typing in the questions you want to add to the FAQ. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? So Houston, you on this on this one here. I will be the one to create that notion page. And then everyone can start contributing to that notion page. Hey, okay, come on. All right. So we don't have a lot of time left, so I want to keep going here. Is everyone okay with the GMXYZ? we we spent a a good chunk of time on that, but I want to make sure we have we gave it enough play because it is it is something that uh, 
that is it's a brand new up and coming website. It's getting a lot of uh, attention in the Web 3.0 space. And um, I think it's going to allow us to be very native um, to the space. So where you go with that? So the takeaway here, so you know, I'm going to set up that uh, page on, on Notion for the FAQ. Everyone here, Adina, I think uh, Antoine, you're going to add to the uh, questions. And I think Maria too has questions. She can, uh, she, she, she has, she has it. She can probably add, and then we can, you can just uh, compile those there. And then I'll make Jocelyn and Adam moderators and Adam will begin to, um, to begin to migrate content. Notion. Here. Also, if anybody needs help with MetaMask, just ping us in the chat or uh, any wallet in general. Like, I think yeah. there's probably a bunch of us that can guide you through that process. Yeah, perfect. Because I think I will have a lot of questions. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So let's go on, move on to the next one. I think it's an important one. Uh, I think this is probably where we're going to spend the rest of our time here because it's a, a pretty, uh, I think it's an important topics. So. The first one is deciding on the scope of the community. And it's a sub branch of that is that's basically the group name. So Adina, myself and Adam have been contributing to this to the notion site here. And uh, we've come up with a few group a few names for the group. And we've been trying to think of I think based upon our last call, right? We've been talking about does it make sense to continue forward with the DeFi Montreal brand, right? Or do we want to change our our name and brand? you know, early going before we get too, you know, committed to this particular um, uh, uh, branding. So thanks guys for thinking of some names. So there's a bunch here now, but I guess before we, you know, it's, this is not the time yet. Uh, I don't think we need to vote on a name yet, but again, just socializing the idea, like who here is the kind of, a, you know, uh, in favor of, of, Keeping the DeFi Montreal brand, or he who hears more on the spectrum of let's let's change it to something more broad to encompass more of crypto slash Web three. I I I would tend to be more on the latter. Yeah. But that said, Montreal itself has somewhat of a brand attached to it, right? So it could also be used broader in a sense. Agreed. Any other just, comments? Just, I, 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 saw, I saw some of your NTL block or block NTL. Interesting. But the thing is, is in Quebec, if you use block, it's very political oriented. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The word block is yeah, very, uh, yeah, to trigger someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, is anyone against renaming or rebranding? Re yeah, I think everyone's okay with rebranding, right? So it's just a matter of, okay, let's find a cool name that represents who we are as a community, right? Who do we want to be? What are we? Like, are we, um, do you want to encompass all of crypto slash Web3 um, or subset? I think Paul, you're on, you're on, yeah. Are we going? Discuss what's like, what would be the focus of the community? Like, uh, would it be uh, being experts in in like uh, Web three or crypto or DeFi or whatever, or like uh, uh, to 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 advise or to give suggestion which project would be the best? What what's uh, where are we going? Which uh, direction? Yeah, and I think it's a fair discussion too, right? Maybe it ties right in with our next you know talking point, which is. You know what is the mission and purpose of this group? Yeah, okay. And maybe that 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 has to be tied into the obviously the name. Obviously, exactly. that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. So, maybe I can throw in my two cents, uh, and I agree with absolutely what's been said. Um, I don't really think we know right now where we're heading. You know, and you know the whole crypto space is like we don't know what we don't know, right? So yeah. Uh, maybe we just keep it at this stage, and that's just uh, my first thought. You know, maybe keep it rather general. And then we can always go deeper into one field, you know, maybe, I don't know, just DeFi or just uh, DAO or just, I don't know, uh, whatever the web 3.0, whatever, you know, NFTs. Um, that's just my 
you know, my first thought on the matter. Yeah. I, I, I agree. I agree very much with Marius, and maybe time will allow us to to be more focused or whatnot. And I, I mean, in the meantime, does it doesn't uh, uh, forbid us to to maybe drop down some ideas in a you know in a uh, chat group and then putting some ideas on. Oh, it could be this. Could be that. Could be this. Mm -hmm. But I can't have the same feeling as Marius. Yeah, because right. for, for, for us, it means something uh, MTL, but for people around the world, they don't know what it means, you know? So I don't think it, if we change to a global name, I don't think it, it, it it's make a difference a lot to, to keep MTL or not. In a certain way, of course. I've noticed that uh, that quite a few names of Web three, anything associated web, web with Web three, whether it's a new coin or a new a new website, uh, is typically based on Latin Latin mm. uh, Latin words. Uh, the reason I know that is because I'm studying Latin, and so I look up the new names of some coins that have been issued and uh, in Latin, and they, they, they mean general names like, you know, friendship or gather or uh, education or communication. Uh, meta means everything as, as an example. So if we, if we come up so, with some words as to, and you can just hear some of the things that you're saying and look at the vocabulary that you're using in terms of what it is that we want this DAO to represent, we've already got the ideas for our names right, right there. We just have to tra translate them into a cool Latin Latin name. That's all, and I can do that for you. <laughs> Thanks, Adina. I like that. <laughs> yeah. My you also don't, sort of, yeah, go ahead, Adam. Yeah, it, it's more just like, let's find something that reflects the community versus the things like uh, specifics of, you know, Web3 or DeFi. Because I think yeah. that ultimately it's about people coming together and there's unique things about that community and we're sort of geographically located in Montreal and maybe friends of Montreal. But ultimately inside that community, we're going to have different streams. Like some people are going to, there could be a DeFi group or a Web3 group or a coin group inside of this community. And um, if we have a name that sort of reflects who we are, um, then it won't matter how specific or niche or what the topics are. Yeah. Yeah, I think you definitely uh, I agree with that. You don't want to be too specific. Where like, you know, what happens if we call ourselves Web3 and all of a sudden we can be Web4? <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> you're, you're dating yourself, right? It's like uh, now you're like pre-internet. Yeah, it's, it's not cool anymore, right? So so I think it's it's got to be a, a something where it's kind of a superset of all Is these it, things. There's still but a I think Montreal. Th yeah. Oh, go ahead, Eugene. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I think you're on the right top on the right point there. It's like I think DAO itself speaks for a lot about what we're trying to do here. So the DAO reflects a, a larger, you know, organizational structure. And then Montreal, I think, needs to be in there because you know that's the locality and friends of Montreal, like the what you know what Adam said there. And then so what's the other thing, right? Like what's the other piece that kind of is a broad adjective for for what we're doing? Or mm -hmm. it could be a noun too, but uh, you know, kind of a broad, um, you know, funded wallets. <laughs> funded wallets, Montreal DAO. <laughs> Catchy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so uh, you know, I think sooner than later we probably need to come to some sort of consensus around this, like, um, because we don't want to go down too far down a certain path, right? And then have to rebrand all of a sudden. Um, we're only three meetups in, uh, technically, right? So it's not like you know it's the end of the world yet, but obviously we we do ourselves a lot of favors by sticking to one brand, and then just you know when everyone's contributing and you're talking to other groups, talk to other people, you can say I belong to this group, and it's not always changing, right? It's not like if I'm Montreal one day and another thing the next week and then another thing in a few months, you know I think it would just be more beneficial if we could just you know early on harmonize around one thing, so. Uh, I think it's a lot of good suggestions in there. I, you know, I think Adina's idea. Hey, there's you're right. There's a lot of I didn't think about that. There's a, there are a lot of kind of Latin kind of uh, off offshoots there. Um, but take a look inside that that notion page for now. Um, 
I don't know, guys. How do you, how do you want to proceed with this one? I'm, I'm kind of on the, on the fence of how you want to do this. Like, do you need to have some sort of timeline? Like, let's decide on a group name in the next week or, you know, something? Or do we just, like, what do you guys Why don't we do just keep that? the Montreal DAO for, for, for the moment? And then, yeah, I don't know if that's really the priority now to, you know, find the, the perfect name which we will never find, you know? Yeah. Marius DAO, I like that one. <laughs> hey, if you want, if you want to keep it, if you want to keep it in Montreal, and you want to follow the, the sushi swaps or what, now we could call it Poutine Dao. Exactly, Poutine. Yeah. <laughs> and then people, yeah. then people misread it and put uh, Putin. <laughs> Putin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, we're gonna get the, exactly. We're gonna be we're getting trouble. <laughs> we gotta get sure. ourselves into so much shit, guys. <laughs> exactly. This is, this is the Dao that supports Putin, man. <laughs> man, those guys. Uh, well, at least we become famous. Maybe not the fame we want, but <laughs> people are you, you were infamous. <laughs> yeah, infamous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. So let's make it broad then. So now, for now, like right now, our GM, GM of XYZ, I just made it Montreal DAO just to make it simple, right? Because I didn't know what was going to come before or after. Um, so we're Montreal DAO for now, right? And then, no, that's, that's not set in stone, and I'm not, I'm not publishing it, you know, to the the broader, you know, but that's for now, like, internally just start to think of ourselves as that. But I think still, like, we need to have some sort of like, finish this, you know, lie in the sand and say, hey, hey, we need to come up with something and this has to be our thing here. Like, what do you guys think? Like, by the end of the month, like, should we like really begin to like close, close this topic down? So we mean in April, you know, like Q2 of 2022 and say, okay, this is who we are, right? And then let's, you know, for the rest of the year, let's promote this thing as that. We cool with that? Makes sense. Perfect. Okay, so let's put Perfect. this thing like end of the month, beginning of Q2. We have a new, we, we, we you know, finalize on our name so that uh, for the rest of the year, we know who we, who, who we are. So let's keep thinking about these names, right? So we have, we have two more weeks. Well, not, not full two weeks, but uh, you know, until the end of the month. So open up that page. I don't know if, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, Adam can, can port this thing over to GMXYZ and let's just keep dropping names inside this uh this note or this uh, discussion thread and let's keep coming up with names and maybe by the end of the month we vote all right you make the vote and then uh and then that sticks until someone wants to create a proposal to rename it <laughs> which is entirely possible too right <laughs> okay any comments I have to jump off. I, I have a flight that I'm have to catch in a few minutes. So uh, it was sure. just nice to meet all of you. Um, I will listen to the rest of the call later, and uh, I'll be on GM saying GM to you. Uh, so take care. Right. have a good weekend. Awesome, Adam. Yeah. You too, man. Take care. Talk to you soon. Have a safe flight, Adam. Thank you. Yes, same for me. Got to jump off, and I'll uh, uh, recap with uh, the video. But I think this is uh, great progress, and I'll we'll see you on GM. Thanks, Jocelyn. Have a good weekend. Hi, guys. All right. So uh, let's just do, you know, because we're, we're kind of getting along on the tooth now of this call. So why don't we just talk about one final thing uh, and we'll have to save the rest for like, you know, uh, offline because we could, you know, probably spend a little too much time on the rest of the topics. So what we probably need to do here is um, uh, the last thing I want to do is that's the mission statement stuff, right? So I think we can probably get a lot more clear about that. And so what I encourage everyone to do uh, you know, if you're on this call, is go to that Notion site, right? So, if you're on the Notion site, go here and then go go under brainstorm and ideas. And right now, see here on the on this page, you have the community call topics. Well, Adam here had this under. Where does he have it here? Um, decide on scope of community. That was his thread. So. Actually, no, that wasn't that wasn't the list. That was the other one. Um, which one was it? Oh yeah, here it is. Define mission statement. So I think we need to spend a, a a bit of time, like just thinking about what is the purpose of this group, and begin to define, like, okay, what do we want to focus on? You know, first off, like, what's our mission, and begin to work through, you know, the the, the standard objectives long-term and short-term objectives and, and, and the rest of it. And each person, you know, this, this is the beauty of the DAOs, is that each person, like, you know, the DAO is a different organization, right? I, I don't know if 
how many of you in this on this call have contributed to DAOs. But DAO is a different kind of organization, right? Like no one's going to tell you what to do in this in this uh, in this organizational structure, right? So, you know, what skills do you have? You know, what passions do you have? Interests do you have? And where does that intersect with the needs of the DAO? If you can find those things, just just do the work, right? Like you don't have to ask anyone to say, "Hey, I'm going to do this thing." It's like you know, do the work on the behalf of the DAO, or you know, if you if you have questions, like obviously you know you can bring it up the DAO. And then people can, you know, can can give you feedback, but like, you know, each person is it's kind of like, you know, it's it is a, you know, once you're in the DAO, you know, you, you can begin to take actions on the behalf of the DAO, and then I think in the next call we'll, we'll talk more about the governance structure so we can get very clear about you know who's who's participating and how, how people can, are going to get uh, rewarded or how people are going to get um, um, governance in terms of the actual DAO structure. But at the end of the day, you know, it's like, think about like, what are your skills? What can you bring to the table? And what does the DAO need? Right. And then, you know, that then, yeah, the, then it's, it's, uh, it's organic in that way. There isn't going to be a, a kind of that top down leadership when someone's going to tell you, you got to do this. Right. Um, this is why I think this stuff in the beginning is very important. So I think we're all in agreement with what the DAO needs at this time. So moving forward. So everyone here, go to if I, you know are my recommendations to go to the Notion site for now, and I'll keep watching the GM site and see see if uh, Adam can migrate this over. But for now, go to the Notion site, and then you know begin to list things that you think are important to, to this community in terms of things that we can we can be pursuing, and maybe there are things that that you want to to um, to head up, right? So for instance, uh, these are all Adam's ideas. These are all fantastic ideas. Art funding, scholarships, went through you know hackathons. So you know, can you reach out to uh, you know like uh, can you create partnerships for the DAO with other with, with the university or college or that kind of stuff, right? How can you promote the DAO um, with other organizations, right? So these are all things that you can do on uh, you can do on behalf of the DAO, and you don't need permission from anyone to, to do it, right? So this it's truly permissionless as long as we have consensus around you know this is kind of what the DAO wants. So if we can get alignment around, you know, kind of the objectives of the DAO, then, um, then yeah, then 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 go to it. You can you know it's contribute. The one thing I would I would say though, you know, is that we would definitely want to prioritize what we're doing. And I'll, I'll just go to the final topic here because I think we're getting late in the call now. And I'll just put it this way, right? I think from my my uh, if if you think about like just short term priorities. What I think is most important right now is that we grow the DAO community. Like that for me right now is the, the number one thing that we can be doing right now. Right. So I know I'm not even sharing my screen, but uh, let me just uh, share my, my mind map here. So what can we be doing to promote the DAO and to grow the, the community? Because ultimately, like that's what's going to drive this thing. If we only get to 200 members and it stays that way, it doesn't matter what else we're working on. It it's, is, you know, it's it's not going to, it's it's not going to make a difference, right? So in the beginning here, it's like, okay, so how do we drive more engagement with our community? So the folks who are currently involved become really, really passionate, and we're driving and we're delivering value to them. Or number two, how do we get new members? Right. So who who can we reach out to? Is it is it community colleges? Is it you know um, universities? Are the are there certain companies? Are there local companies? Is it people on Twitter? Are there are there online communities that we can reach out to? You know, like how do we grow the DAO so we have more and more eyeballs in this thing, and we get that snowball effect, right? Because once you get more and more people involved, you know we know the the virtual I mean the uh, the virtual cycle that creates, right? And so once you get we start getting more and more feedback. Yeah, it's just going to basically, you know, increase that flywheel effect. Yeah, I think uh, we. Uh, I don't know what you what you guys think about this, but uh, I think we we could start to um, to exploit our own network, every one of us, and mm -hmm. and talk about the DAO and the the community we are building, so we can get new members and. From my hand, I have basically around 
like uh, 10,000 emails, I think. Like I can set up the, uh, an email of people interested in technology and invite them to join the, the, the group and the, the, the community. So I think if every one of us is uh, exploiting their network and invita inviting uh, people to the community, yeah. we can we can grow a lot faster. Yeah. And then once you grow, like, you know, to support that, Antoine's like, what do we need to have in our group to support new members? Right. So if you invite a bunch of people, let's say you invite 10,000 people, like what do we need to have in place to make sure people will find a, find a home here? Right. Does that mean like we need more French material, right? Like what kind of content do we have, do we need to have to make sure that when people show up? Like, you know, there's, there's a, uh, this content there, right. That's valuable to people so that they, you know, that they, they, they stick around. Right. So if you say you're French speaker only, do we need to have a French trap, right? Like the FAQ in French? Maybe. Yes. Why, why not? Right. I want to have FAQ in French. Um, do we need to have some special content to on onboard people? Right. So maybe not everyone has a huge community, but certainly we, people can contribute to creating some of the content that will help onboard new people. All right. So ultimately, I think it's a few angles we could take here is yes, let's reach out to our networks and try to get more and more people involved. And then like, let's just tr try to build value. Like how can we deliver value uh, to the people who show up? um and make it sticky right because it's very easy to find people well, not always easy but i mean like you know you know what i mean like retention's hard yeah. right like you know, yeah, retention's yeah. hard so how, how do we keep both people engaged so that as soon as they come in they're like okay i'm signing up for that thing right away because i want to know the next step right but it looks like your next step let's say like if they have to wait four weeks for the next event that's a long next step right so like how do we say something okay you join right away and we start delivering value right away right it's like you join and all of a sudden you get stuff Okay, like, hey, okay, good. I'm on my journey now. Maybe you're new to me. And you know, I think right now we're seeing a lot. Most people who are joining are, are pretty new. That's cool, right? Because then maybe we can create that very easy, some onboarding things that, we, they, you know, that, that helps them on their DeFi journey or their crypto journey, whatever we want to call it, right? Here are all the links you need to know. Set up a MetaMask wallet, jump on GM, you know, go through all these things. But the, the, five or 10. The idea, Houston, is like, as you always mention, is like, it's all about content, right? Uh, what would what's the content that would be attracting all these people? What would be the content that uh, would let us do frequent events? Like, would it be uh, like till now? What attracted us is all the knowledge we, we had about the DAO, like the new projects. So it might be an idea. Like, what are the new projects that are happening? Maybe what are uh, the projects that are happening in Montreal? maybe like the 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 project metis like uh, we could invite people who have new project and they could present it to us for example so yeah. uh it's, it's something new like new new ideas new contents that you could not find somewhere else because That's like it. yeah like, so maybe like montreal is a technological hub so I'm, I'm sure that there are lots of projects here in montreal yeah Maybe we could would be a community where new projects would come through us to present themselves to to the world, starting yeah. to Montreal to our community, then to the world. Yeah, that's definitely one angle, and I think there's many angles, right? I think this that's one track would be very attractive, right? I think is a uh, is that one track? Is that track where you know some people brand new to crypto DeFi? That's one. Yeah. That's another track, right? So we have like a few tracks that I think probably need to be fleshed out because you don't want to go too beginner. And you want to go too advanced and you i think we need to cater to different people so i think it'd be great to have different tracks we can say hey brand new to crypto or DeFi, then you know go this track open up metamask wallet want to keep track of the the brand new things that are happening in, in you know in, in montreal then you know go to this track want to you know keep uh, learning and, and keep informed of of the latest developments in you know the cutting edge of, of crypto then you know follow this track and then ultimately i think all of us you know because we're, we're forming a community each one of us will be an expert in different things, right? So uh, that's why I think it's better to be a you know such such much so much more power being community, that each person is going to you know have a, a better representation of of different of di those different tracks, right? So so if you know if you're a brand new beginner, then probably you know you, you're probably best helping other beginners, you know. So if your if your passion is you know I, I want to learn about new technologies, and the stuff is going on in Montreal, then that's probably the you know the, what you want to probably spearhead, right? And see, hey. Yeah, well, I'd like to learn about these things and I could, you know, begin to learn along with the community. Like, you don't have to be the expert. There are no experts yet in, in crypto. That's the beauty, right? So there's no problem learning alongside the community 
as long as everyone's honest and forthcoming with you know where, where we are you know with our with our with our journey and then if people want to be you know if you're more advanced and you want to like hey i want to i'm over dgen and i want to you know push the edges of DeFi and crypto and i want to get deep into some of these projects then someone can lead that that lead that track right so we have a little bit of everything for everybody and i think that you know captures the majority of people but i could see a world like just talking about vision for a second like i could see a world where you know a lot of us on this call will be running events right like it's not just going to be me running the events all the time like there's no reason why antoine cannot lead french events that pertain to certain you know topics right but would you may have certain technology technological interests you to marius right you to adina so you know we could all have these different tracks that we're that we're that we're interested in and you know you may want to learn about certain projects and you reach out to those those people or to those founders or you know builders or whatever experts or maybe you yourself present something um and then bring it back to the group and this is why this is how we can do it then more than just one event a month right so when we have multiple uh streams going on you know, for different categories of, of of members then you know we can have a very very full calendar <laughs> right so, it can so be a lot said, of stuff going on uh, yeah you are mentioning like different roles and uh, you're checking who's interested so why not like list all the roles and like who will be interested will will add their name to and they will fill the roles what do you think about it like you you were mentioning uh, that having a community like event manager for example it could be yeah. a community event manager in english a community event manager in french and we'll see like in our group who would be interested in uh, in filling this yeah. role and maybe maybe also there are many other roles also uh, i'm not absolutely sure. yeah. but here's here's something that i want to challenge you guys with right this this is the now structure you just have to volunteer <laughs> you know like if you want to do something just do it you know there's no hierarchy like like you know like there's no job board here that says you know like yes we could post it right and i've been trying to go down that path and say hey listen we need event managers and community managers and that stuff but guess what? It's all about that intersection between what you can do, your passion, and what the DAO needs. And anyone can stand up. And once we have the right incentives in place, then you'll be compensated for your work, right? So if you believe you can contribute to the DAO and provide value, you'll be compensated, right? And there's a reason there isn't any kind of like, oh, can we get a job board? Yes, that that works too. I've, that definitely works. No question. If we can create a job board or bounties, like you know, that's what they call them in the DAO speak. We can create bounties and say, hey, listen. We need certain work done. We need to have this job title filled or these kinds of works that are being done. We can definitely create bounty boards and get people into those roles. But anyone can can join, right? And say, hey, I want to do this thing. This down, I think you can help the down. Yeah, let's let's do it. You know, like I think we're all trying to contribute value here. And I think you know this is this is the organic nature of it, like truly organic, right? Like you don't need to have this top guy top down approach. You're like, okay, we're automatons, and I'm gonna be the guy who calls all the shots. Yeah, this yeah, volunteer. If you, if you want to do something, tell me. Tell the group, right? It's just, just just volunteer it. And then yeah, I bet you're gonna say people are gonna say yes, because not everyone has time to, to you know to uh, to do everything. So I'm sure I food, if you have an idea, most people on this call are probably gonna say yes. <laughs> do it, man. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, agree nice. more, guys. So yeah. True. Yeah. And this is just the beginning of Montreal Dow, you know. There's uh, yeah, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Right. It's like, and at the end of the day, like th my vision of success is, you know, let's say I move somewhere both from Montreal and if I would moves away, or Marius moves back to Germany for whatever reason. Right. This thing keeps going. Right. Cause people are in Montreal are still contributing and it keeps going with regards to not like the founding people are here or not. Right. It just stays alive. It's decentralized and autonomous. It doesn't require on the original founders to stick around and, uh, and, and call the shots. So ultimately, you know, we will contribute any way we can, and I'm trying to do my best to, you know, to to put some uh, some some rails around things. But again, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not pumping up my ego to say that I'm the leader of the DAO. It's just, you know, I'm just I, I happen to have the idea for the original thing, but you know, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be here the whole time, right? I I would like one day where I could step away, just like the trading group. Like I like one day to step away and not not that thing to keep going, right? So so it's the same thing here. But ultimately, that's that's would be success success to me is that this thing keeps going whether or not I stay involved. All right, so that, that's a lot of stuff to chew on today. So I guess that's my call to action, right? So number one, go to Notion. If you don't have access, and I think Maris, I, I'll, I'll get your email offline and uh, I'll add you to that. And um, 
Adam has some. Uh, Adam has a takeaway there to try to migrate things over to GM. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet, or you know one of those three authentication types, MetaMask, Coinbase, or Wallet Trust, set that up so you can join GM. And then uh, Jocelyn and Adam have some action items in terms of uh, uh, being moderators. And I'm I'm asking uh, for maybe Adina and whoever else whoever else volunteer. I think I think Antoine to begin to think of uh, questions for the FAQ, All right? Yeah. Yep. And so for now, we'll compile that notion, and then we'll see how how, it, uh, how we can move it over to, yeah, and Maria. Thank you, Adina. And Maria, uh, we'll get her access to notion, and she can contribute questions to the FAQ to build that out. Because um, then hopefully, they, you know, like let's think about the next week, right? So. By next Friday, I'd like to see that, that FAQ, like the daily, like that, you know, shouldn't take a week to build that thing out. It's just a bunch of questions, and I think it's going to be links to existing material already, right? There's so much content on the internet. We don't have to build the answers, right? We're going to come up with the questions and just drop the link in there to show people how to set up MetaMask or what's MetaMask, right? So this should not take a whole week to set up. I would imagine like my, my, uh, by next Friday, GM will be already up. We'll have some of our threads in there. And we'll begin to start, you know, posting regularly in that in that group, and begin to have a, a more of a threaded discussion. So everyone knows, like, okay, if we're going to talk about topics, we just go to GM, right? There'll be a DAO chat or some sort of DAO group. We talk about just DAO stuff inside that. We can make that. We can decide how open we want to make that. Open. We want to make that channel. Maybe we, we gate that channel by having, you know, by having a certain NFT or a PO app, right? If you want to join that DAO chat, you need to have that PO app. Otherwise, you know, you, you're just a uh, you know a tire kicker. You're not you're not quite interested in, in contributing the DAO yet because you haven't taken the first step yet, right? So um, we'll figure that out, right? But I think over the next week, at the very least, we'll have a GM site begin, uh, you know, kind of uh, um, populated, and then uh, we'll have some of these things in there. We we, we can also use um, we we use this in the, in our company uh, to create content. It's called uh, Ensor the Public. I don't know if uh, you guys know about it, but uh, it gets you all the uh, most common uh, most common questions asked uh, about a subject. So you can type, uh, by example, uh, MetaMask, and it, it will get you all the most common question about MetaMask, and you can about it. I don't know that tool. Cool, man. Why don't you drop that into the? Uh, you know, I'll create that Notion site right after I'm done here. Why don't you drop that in there, and then yeah, that sounds like a great tool. Is it free, or do you, do you have to pay for that? Uh, you need to pay, but you will have like free, uh, free use every day. Oh, okay. Well, oh, that sounds very handy. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's that's a that sounds like a great tool. Yeah. And then you know, let's just keep thinking about it, right. Like, so however you can contribute, whoever's listening to this call in the recording form, however you can contribute, you know, come up to the group, um, you know, socialize it, and then just start working at it. And secondly. How do we just keep thinking about it. how do we best onboard people? And you know, people are showing up to this, this community. Like, what do they need? How can how, how 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 can we deliver value as soon as they join join the community, so they don't have to wait four weeks for the next meetup, right? Like the worst case scenario is you join, right when the meetup ends, right, and now you got to wait four weeks before the next meetup begins. <laughs> That's too long, right? That's just too long of a period. Four weeks in uh, in crypto space is like you know. It's like a year, <laughs> you know. So, so like we need to start delivering stuff, like a lot of stuff in between. So, if you want to create content, guys, like if everyone else wants to, you know, if you like podcasting, you like creating videos or whatever, like yeah, like you know, or you like uh, doing events or holding webinars, whatever, like you know, Twitter Spaces, whatever, we we can promote that stuff too. So, if you want to create content, uh, you know, we can pop, we can promote your stuff, right? If it's in alignment, in alignment with, with alignment with the DAO. Cool guys and gals. Amazing. Yeah, that's perfect. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we're nearly at six, so I'm gonna uh, begin to do a soft close here. So, any questions uh, before we wrap things up and begin to enjoy our our St. Patty's weekend? I know Marius is getting ready. He just can't wait. He's like, <laughs> my green outfits are already ready. I just have to figure out which one I'm going to wear. 
Not really. <laughs> I was just joking at the beginning, but it's still right. <laughs> but I probably do go down to the parade. I mean, might as well get out of here out of after two years of confinement, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Oh, if I would, if I was single and I was, you know, didn't have kids, I'd definitely live downtown. I'd be there, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, you, all yeah, right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Doing a great job here. It's amazing, man. Oh, thank you, Marius. Appreciate it. You know, appreciate it. All right, folks. So let's wrap it up here. Then I will. Uh, you know, the next steps I have uh, written on this agenda on this uh, agenda here, but I'll create that the FAQ page right away on Notion so people can contribute their ideas. And that's why if you want to drop your comment in there with that tool, you can use use that as well based upon the questions that come up. And let's keep working on that. And then hopefully by next Friday, we have that, you know, that one thing at least built out, right? Like the FAQ on the GM site and everyone's logged in there and you can at least see um, some stuff that's going on over there. All right, folks. Perfect. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. I appreciate everyone turning out. Each week, we just keep making progress. Thanks, Adina. Uh, yeah, we keep making progress. So yeah, it's, 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 it's this whole idea of socializing here. Like, you know, for me, it's like, yeah, the DAO thing is a new structure, right? It's like, keeps blowing my brain every single week. It's like, blows my brain. And when I think about it, it's like, whoa, it's, it keeps blowing my brain. So I posted a few links this week in the, in the Discord around DAO structures. There's a few video, there's one video that really blew my brain. Uh, definitely recommend um, watching that video. If you're on Discord, go to the DAO chat, and there's a video I posted there by uh, this guy named Trake. Crazy video, only 20 minutes long, but uh, really, uh, really, really fantastic insights around how different a DAO structure is from your traditional corporate work. You know, we we typically do, we've done in you know most of our lives. So I'll leave it there. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Have weekend, everyone. Weekend. See you next Bye. week. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.